The skyline of Orlando is seen here during a gorgeous sunset. Quite a backdrop for our broadcast tonight. Welcome everyone to Noche and a Beyond. A Latin theme is the backdrop to tonight's festivities. Hello everyone, with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from our Hall of Famer on the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Well, Damian Lillard is not just the best player on the Blazers, he's the team's unquestioned leader. But he said leadership is not all about talking. It's about letting others hold you accountable too. Being coachable and committing to a common purpose. For him, guys, being a leader doesn't mean he puts himself above his teammates. I like that story, David, and a good attitude. Great job. Thank you so much. And let's check out a breakdown. Looking at some stats for Fournier. And it's striking how much his three-point shooting has improved this month. His long-range percentage is coming up, and that's going to give them a lift as a team. You can never have enough reliable threats from beyond the arc. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. McCollum the two and Hood the three. Anthony is out there with Whiteside and it's Lillard in at the point. And for Orlando, at the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Augustine and Fournier are the backcourt tandem. And it's Isaac in at the three, the small forward. We used to talk about guys hitting that rookie wall, Chris, but now we're seeing more first-year players sustain success deep into the season. Like the rookie wall doesn't even exist. What are you seeing? Uh, I still see that rookie wall, Kevin. You I do? See, okay. Yeah, oh, I see that rookie wall. I think uh, I, I see that rookie wall. I don't know about the analytics, but uh, you ask some of these rookies. <laughs> ask Trey Young what he felt from game 42 to 62. I guarantee you right. he'll tell you that's the most tired he's been in his life because of this. You cannot train for the NBA season over the summer, and college doesn't train you for that. So where do you get in shape? But some things, Kevin, as you know, you only learn through experience. And a rookie year in the NBA, you can only learn by going through through, hitting the wall, making it out, and then next summer saying, whew, glad I made it through that. Now I don't have to go through that again. So the Portland Trailblazers able to put the first points up on the board. Fournier's shot is off. Now Anthony passes to Whiteside. Anthony dishes to Lillard. Three-pointer. Bangs home the trifecta. Uh, the remarkable range of Lillard. I mean, you see these shots he makes from distance with ease, effortless release. Fournier with the ball. Now Anthony defending. And Whiteside sends it back. And now the fast break. Anthony with the ball. Here's Hood. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, it feels like they're just one step ahead right now, looking to build out their advantage even further. Augustine finds Fournier. Vucevic down low. He's covered by Whiteside. Vucevic with the bucket. Finally, after all those planks, someone comes through for him. Oh, yeah, you can hit a sigh of relief from here. Now they've got to build on that first bucket. Now here's Anthony. Nine points last game. The shot by Lillard wide open. And the three off target. So for the Magic, their last game a loss to the Spurs in San Antonio. And in terms of intensity, they, they kind of took the night off. L looked like they were just going through the motion. Man, only surprise is that the margin wasn't greater. I mean, somehow they managed to hang around despite their lack of effort, Greg. Here's McCollum. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Shoots over Fournier, and the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. I think McCollum's mechanics and mindset really come into play in the mid-range game. He's deadly from that area. And here's Fournier. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Spurs in San Antonio. And stolen by Hood. And now Portland on the break. And Damian Lillard with the jam. Uh, respect the leaping ability of Lillard or you'll get dunked on. Augustine against Lillard. Pass to Gordon. Down low and stolen by Whiteside. 
Lillard finds Whiteside. Here's McCollum. The three. Offensive rebound. Anthony. And there's the bucket. Stand with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Augustine. That's good. Here's Lillard. Five points in the game. Outside Hood. Pass to McCollum. Back to Hood. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And a six foot eight Hood has great size. He's a tall guard who's talented to score from there. It's his first trip to the line. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. Shooting two. The first one falls. An already proven score. Who needs to keep adding to his game, specifically focusing on becoming a better all-around versatile player? All free throws, good from Hood. And the pick and roll tandem of Damian Lillard and Yusuf Nurkic, one of the most unstoppable in our league. Yeah, uh, Nurkic as a role man, not only a scorer, but also a capable passer too. Now he had the second most assists on the team last season. He and Lillard have mastered the nuances of, of the pick and roll game. Now here's Fournier. No points in the game yet for him. Clock at four. Here's Gordon. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Trailblazers leading by 11. Outside Hood. He kicks to Lillard. McCollum outside. Dishes to Whiteside. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Vucevic. Well, he might not be blocking four shots a game anymore, but Hassan Whiteside still a factor in the paint defensively. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And with Whiteside, his size and length set him apart from others defensively. Greg, even at the center position. You just can't ignore the reach and coverage that Whiteside has when he's in the paint. Even though the block numbers aren't what they once were, the amount of shots he changes is still very high. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And looking at the numbers for Whiteside the last few years, Greg, it seems like his production has come back down a bit. And for a minute, Whiteside looked like he could be a dominant center, but he struggled since his great 2017 season. Shot selection has been hurting, and, and sometimes it feels like he is in his own way as a player. Trailblazers leading by nine. Now, here's Lillard. A 24-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. Yeah, and as good of a score as he was in that game, he was even a better passer. A lot of assists for him. Count it good. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Fournier passes to Gordon. Back to Fournier. Now the pass to Isaac, stolen by McCollum. And here's the break. Anthony, no one around. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Isaac kicks to Augustine. Down it goes for his third time basket time in as many tries. Yeah, love watching Isaac find the open teammate. Has great floor awareness out there and just knows when one of his guys has a clean look. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. 
The sixth pick back in 2017, 6'10", Jonathan Isaac out of Florida State. Craig, what have you seen from him? Came in somewhat raw, potential as a rangy defender. Offensively, though, still a ways to go. going with an almost entirely new group here. Mohamed Bamba, he's checked in for Vucevic. Aminu comes in for Isaac. Ross, he's checked in for Evan Fournier. And it's Fulton for Augustine. Now, here's Bazemore. He's coming off a 16-point game against Atlanta. Knocks it loose. Pass to Hazania. Five on the clock. Over Ross. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And here's Aminu. He brings it up for Orlando. They trail by nine points. Ross, that's good. Al Farouk Aminu, such a great passer in his position. I mean, he has good vision and knows when to dish it. Now here's Lebissier. He averages about uh, five points a game. Kicks it to Bazemore. Fultz with the ball. Here's Gordon. A rebound by Hazania. Simons surveying the D. And it's out of bounds to Portland. They'll retain possession. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Whiteside. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, no, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. Now, here's Bazemore. He's been quiet so far, still no points in the game. He was all alone on that one. And the Trailblazers lead by 10. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. And Labissier sends it back. Here's Azania. No good on the shot. So Orlando will take it the other way. Baysmore against Ross. Pamba dishes to Gordon. Now Ross. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Last time they met was in Portland this season. Yeah, it was a narrow win. But at that last meeting, I think foul trouble for the other side may have really just tipped the scale and allowed them to escape with the W. Yeah, it did. I mean, uh, they were smart about it. Man. Once the foul started to add up on the other side, they really turned up the heat. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Lasagna, the pass to Bazemore. There's a minute 40 left here in the first quarter. Uh, the main weapon in Bamba's attack, the slender long arms he possesses, helps him block lots of shots. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. No, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss many of those. And it's out of bounds to Portland. They'll retain possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. Here's Simons. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will retain possession. And let's take a quick look now at some stats here for Fultz. How the second half of the season has shaped up for him. Averaging about 16 points, three assists, and two rebounds. He's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, G.A., I like it because he's not overcomplicating things. I mean, he's just playing to his strengths and taking what the defense gives him.
Here's Bazemore. 105 left here in the opening quarter. Here are the Magic now. Nine point game. Here's Fultz. 23 points for him the last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. I mean, and you look at his free throw numbers. I mean, it shows you how much pressure he put on the defense. Stolen by Bamba. There's 37 seconds left to play in the first. Pass to Ross. Knocked away. It's stolen by Little. Hezonia on the wing. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got his fourth rebound in this one. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And the second chance effort by Gordon. He makes so many hustle plays, and, and here he's working the offensive glass for the tip in. He's more against Ross. And here's Bazemore. From past the arc. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the Portland Trail Blazers heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. The leadership mantle, something that Damian Lillard welcomes. He talked about what that means to him. A lot of responsibility. When things go bad, you know, people are going to look to you first. You know, they're going to point the finger at you first. Um, and when things go well, they're going to give you the credit. So um, I think it's just a balance of those two things, you know, being willing to be that guy um, and being excited about it. I think you got to um, have fun with it. Right on the money, as always, Lillard has excelled in that leadership role. I mean, he plays with so much confidence and composure, but also it's the way he includes his teammates and gets to know them as individuals that makes him a franchise player. And we return to the second quarter, and Noche Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Trailblazers guys, uh, what do you think? Well, you can see these guys are unafraid to take chances defensively. Yeah, it's a gambling style that pays off, G.A., keeping things in disarray for that offense. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. On the court for the Trailblazers, they've got Kent Bazemore. Azonia is out there with Little. Then it's LaBissier, and it's Simons in at the one. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, for Nick Vucevic, there were some great firsts last season. His son, Philip was born in December. And then, Dad made his first All-Star appearance. Nick is from a basketball family. He said, I'll enjoy telling my son the stories, like my dad did with me. We'll see if he likes the game of basketball. I think he will. Kevin? Well, D.A., it's certainly in his genes. Thanks for that report. And the Magic making a change here. Vucevic has checked in. Four on the shot clock. And that one's on target from the wing. Vucevic has got his second bucket of the game to go. Chris, middle of last season. Plenty of drama around the AD trade request. Davis wanting to leave New Orleans. Some say all publicity is good publicity. Uh, but Commissioner Silver clearly does not agree. I, I don't agree either, and I think if you go back, uh, the Lakers would say that's a self-inflicted wound. Or some things are best left in the locker room. Let me tell you this. Every team tried to trade for AD except the team that didn't have him last year and maybe the Golden State Warriors. So everyone was out there. It just wasn't the rumors. And so, no, you never really like those rumors. They affect young players. Uh, they affect the player that may be being traded for. They affect the home fan base. Uh, they affect everyone. So you want to try to keep all of that in-house. Uh, some things are better left on set. Count the basket. And it's seven points for Terrence Ross. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. It's stolen by Aminu. And up the court come the Magic on the break. 
fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Did you see the quick feet of Aminu? I mean, he excels at getting out on the break and finding ways to score. And this is his first trip to the line tonight for the Magic. Isaacs checked in for Bamba. Fournier comes in for Terrence Ross. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Markel Fultz. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Whitesides checked in for Labissier. Carmelo Anthony comes in for Hazania. Rodney Hood's checked in for Little. And McCollum subbed in for Kent Bazemore. That free throw good from Aminu. What you like about Aminu is the professionalism he brings. He's a veteran. He plays hard every night. McCollum passes to Whiteside. McCollum outside. No good on the triple. And the Magic with possession. They're on a 10-2 run here. Augustine looking around. Aminu with the bucket. Aminu's got the game tied up here for the Magic. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Lillard misses. He hasn't been able to do much damage outside the three-point line. Just one triple for him in the game, and that was back in the first quarter. Isaac dances to Augustine. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Damian Lillard. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Magic shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board. 77% collectively. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Both free throws, good from Augustine. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Cullen passes to Lillard. Portland no good that time either. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 14-2 run here. Well, you think about a franchise player, it's hard to find a better example than Damian Lillard. His play, his presence, Kevin. He's one of the most important players in Blazers franchise history. Now a timeout called by Portland. Chris, you were talking about the presence of Lillard. Very cool and always composed. Oh, Kevin, I love Damon Lillard. I mean, he's from Oakland. He has that town toughness. He's got that dog in him. I mean, he speaks softly and carries a big stick. Well, these are the players you don't want to give any space to beyond the arc right now. The best long-range shooting guards in the past 10 games. Fourth, Evan Fournier. You, know, you don't have to be a great shooter to play two guard, but, but it does help. And pretty much all of these guys fit into that great category. And having a reliable three-point option at off guard. Pretty much a necessity these days in the NBA. McCollum, no good. 
Here's Orlando now. They've gone on a 16-2 run, not allowing much. Chris, is there someone you competed with that you feel is underrated by history, has not been given uh, their due? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, I think when you look at White Chalk to Jason Williams, and what he started in, in, in the culture of play and what he continued. And you look at Ben Wallace, who I played with four years at, at uh, Washington, and he was coming off the bench there, and we saw that potential with him. I mean, the way he led the league in rebounding, his defensive prowess. I mean, the Pistons wouldn't have had a championship and gotten to a another final if it wasn't for him and also I got to shout my man out Mike Bibby and Peja Stoyakovich two of the best shooters I played with oh great names and I totally agree that one is off as we've gotten closer to halftime their style has become more and more physical He doesn't get the second one. And that's a rare missed opportunity from him. He'd been good as gold up until that point. Pass to Anthony. Back to McCollum. With some arc. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Anthony's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. So for the Trailblazers, their last game, a loss to the Hawks in Atlanta. Alert against Augustine. The feet of Vucevic. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Anthony can't hit. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. Augustine dishes to Fournier. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Lillard outside. There's the three. Hits the three-point bomb. Lillard's got 12 points in the game. Well, there's never going to be hesitation from Lillard on his catch-and-shoot opportunities. His confidence through the roof on those. The shot's good from Fournier. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Augustine against Lillard. McCollum outside. Lillard, right side. There's the pass to Whiteside. Shot clock at six. And a wide open look for McCollum. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Got that one up quick. And Isaac has proven to be more than capable with his mid-range jump shot. He keeps it up high in the air so the defense doesn't really have a chance to disrupt his rhythm. Now, here's Lillard. He's got 12. McCollum, no good. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Fournier against McCollum. And Fournier kicks to Isaac. Passes it to Augustine. Takes a three. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Whiteside's got his fourth rebound in this one. Portland, no good that time either. The setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. Augustine against Lillard. Pass to Isaac from the arc. And it's Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Lillard. Rebound by the Magic. Vucevic has got his seventh rebound here tonight. To the inside, Aminu. The basket is good. The assist from Augustine. Augustine's got four assists now tonight. Trailblazers trail by seven. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. A three from McCollum. That one, no good. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. He's disappeared this quarter. He can't get anything to drop. That's not going to help him get out of the hole. Yes, that goes in. 
Fournier's got the lead up to nine now for Orlando. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Put on the wing. He's covered by Isaac. And it's sent back by Isaac. And, and that long wingspan of Isaac aids him there in turning away shots. But it's also the timing he displays when he attacks the shooter. Now here is Augustine. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. And checking out some stats for Hassan Whiteside. His last 10 games have been exceptional. He's averaging 11 points a game, 12 rebounds, and two and a half blocks. And he's such a presence for them inside. Uh, no questions. He blocks shots, controls the glass, does everything asked of him and more. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for the match. They get a hand on it. Fournier finds Augustine. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And now it's an 11-point Orlando lead. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off. And the D struggling to keep up. Now a timeout called by Portland. Well, they say the post-up big man is dead and gone in the NBA. But don't tell that to Nikola Vucevic. An offensive focal point, and he does some of his best work on that low block. making some changes. Mohamed Bamba, he's checked in for Vucevic. Ross comes in for Jonathan Isaac. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for Augustine. Portland also making some changes. Scal LeBissier is checked in for Whiteside. Mario Hazonia comes in for Anthony. And it's Kent Bazemore in for McCullough. And here's what the schedule for Orlando looks like. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. And then on Friday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And for the matchup with the Rockets, it's going to be a battle for this Shoot group. Two. You get the feeling they'll need to be at their sharpest if they want to come away with a victory. And the first one drops. And you look at the footwork of Vucevic inside, his moves uh, and counter moves, terrific. Shades of Kevin McHale, and that's something he's con... ...continue to develop in the pros, a response to defenders who often surpass him athletically. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And Labissiere screams potential, a gigantic player who plays both ends of the floor well. Fultz looking around. Outside Fournier. The Magic have shot three of five at the foul line. And the first one at the line is good. Both shots good from the strike. Trailblazers trail by 11. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. 
Now here's Little. He's guarded by Fournier. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Little. He's covered closely. Nice D from Fournier. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And it's Gordon finishing it off. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Now here's Bazemore. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And out of bounds is the Magic will gain possession. Seventeen seconds left to play here in the half. Now, here's Fultz. Hazonia defending. Now, here's Fultz. From deep three-point range, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's Orlando, looking at a 13-point lead, heading into the next quarter. Trailing to start the quarter, they battled hard and pulled off a tremendous comeback. Now enjoying the lead. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks, Nick. What got you guys going in the first half? Oh, it was just a uh, bit aggressive, man. Try to be a present in there. Uh, everybody, not just me, but all the guys. And anyway, that's all we need to do, you know, when we uh, start the game off right, then we can uh, build a pretty nice lead like tonight we did. Obviously, it's how you finish, not how you start. Thanks, Nick. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. For Orlando, it was a challenging first quarter. They struggled to find an offensive rhythm or come up with enough stops and sunk into a seven-point hole by the end of the period. They had a huge turnaround in the second quarter, storming back with an incredible offensive surge and now enjoy a 13-point lead. Shaq, what do you think about the Magic? I don't think anyone expected to see such numbers from the bench. You know, I'm impressed. It was what they needed, the jolt they needed, Ernie. Wow, I, I never knew their bench. As a matter of fact, I don't even know any of their players coming off the bench. Man, keep going, bench guys. And the Kenny, what did you see from Portland? Well, they're giving up too many high percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any book. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You gotta like what DJ Augustine has done in this game. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Augustine and Fournier are the backcourt tandem. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. And it's Isaac in at the small forward. And that's the group for Steve Clifford as we begin the second half. Now here's McCollum. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Fournier. Nice D from Fournier. Now I think he lets the D get to him there, and he rushes it. I mean, he has plenty of space there if he just takes his time. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, one of the things that teams are more aware of in the age of analytics is the importance of sleep. Those teams are making adjustments. Morning shoot-arounds have been moved in some cases to the afternoon or eliminated altogether. There are many fewer teams that are taking red-eye flights across country. Some teams even give players orange-tinted glasses to encourage them to sleep. There's a lot of work to be done in this field, but the direction is clear. 
Continuing to evolve. All right, David, thank you. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Augustine. Fans just, broadcasters, love to see teams get out and attack in transition. Would you like to see the league crack down on intentional fouls that, that, that will halt that break, slow down that break, stifle that break? No, because the, the home fans or the fans of the team that's fouling doesn't want that team to get out and get an easy two points. I mean, we still have to have defense in the game. So anything that takes away from team scoring, you just can't say, well, we want to watch them score. Don't do yeah. it. No. And uh, very honestly, if you're an unselfish team, usually on those breaks, it's usually because a player holds the ball to right. Usually they have another open player in front of them that they could pass it up to. And if you're an unselfish team, usually you'll still give the fans what they want. And that's a crazy highlight on the break. <laughs> Here's Augustine following the score by Damian Lillard. Outside Gordon to the paint and stolen by Whiteside. It's stolen by Vucevic. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Outside Hood. Back to Lillard. There's the triple. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Now, here's Isaac. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Pass to Augustine. Goes back up. Isaac misses. And here's Lillard. He brings it up for the Trailblazers. He kicks it to McCollum. Back to Lillard, but three, he can't get it to go. The Magic go the other way with it. Now, here's Isaac, covered by Hood. Augustine against Lillard. Now here is Augustine, he's tightly guarded. Trailblazers trail by 14. Lillard left side. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. It's only a matter of time until this three-point shot comes back to him. I mean, he knocked down two threes before halftime. Nothing so far here in the second. <laughs> I tell you, Isaac has great vision for a big man. He can see over defenders easily thanks to that size. Here's McCollum. The Magic getting the buck. Put on the wing. Three-pointer Lillard. Lillard again missing. And it's really a tale of two quarters. Shot it so well in the last, but this one can't get anything to fall. Augustine passes to Fournier. Unloads from 13. And he hits the jump shot. Eight points for Vucevic. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. We talk about killer instinct all the time. He definitely has it. He's keeping his foot on the pedal here. Here's McCollum. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Evan Fournier. Uh, McCollum is used to getting hit. Got to respect his ability to draw contact on the way up. CJ McCollum. Uh, one of the top 10 shooting guards in the NBA, CJ McCollum. I mean, you wonder, though, would he be even better lined up as a point guard? I'm, I'm not sure. But his defense has been a shortcoming. A 6'3", his size is better suited for the one. No good on the free throw. See, Webb, you think about McCollum as a point guard. His assists have dropped three seasons running. Yeah, yeah, Kevin, but that's because his role on this team is to score. I mean, he's so skilled. He can get other guys involved, but you want him putting it in the bucket. Who's a better option than him besides Dame Lillard? On another team, though, with, with the chance to start at point guard, I wouldn't mind seeing that adjustment. And he sinks the second. 
and you talk about shot makers, C.J. McCollum, one of the best in the game from mid-range. You could argue he's the best flat out. Now here is Augustine. 14 points for him. Here's Gordon. The basket is good. The assist from Augustine. Augustine's got six assists now in the game. Trail Blazers trail by 19. And you look at the shot chart from McCollum. He's a threat break from everywhere. Able to hit off the bounce, pulling up. At his height, he's got to be creative making space for his shot. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Now in his sixth season in the NBA, hard to believe Aaron Gordon is still just 24 years of age. Not much older than some rookies coming in. You wonder what his ceiling will be. So for the Magic, Terrence Ross has checked in for Evan Fournier, and it's Fultz in for Augustine. The Trailblazers also changing it up. Labissier has checked in for Whiteside. Little comes in for Anthony, and it's Kent Bazemore in for Hood. Now here's McCollum. He's got eight. Back to Lillard. And too long on the shot. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And it's Gordon finishing it off. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Uh, starting to take over here, building a big lead that could ultimately prove insurmountable. Now here's Lillard. 14 points for him. Inside, McCollum. Rebounded by Vucevic. I mean, he struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. Stolen by McCollum. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Look at the fearlessness of McCollum. Smaller guard is willing to get whacked when he's going to the rack. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. Two shots. First free throw is good. Chris, we read this the other day, the NBA announcing the development of the BAL, the Basketball African League. They feel there is a lot of untapped potential there. I, I would tend to agree. I'm so excited. I already put my name in the hat to go out there and work with and help develop oh, terrific. these kids. Oh, good yeah, I'm excited. I mean, just think about this. You want to know what type of talent is out there? Um, let's just start with Akeem. <laughs> then we go to Matumbo, <laughs> yeah. Embiid. He's from Cameroon. How about after the Kupo, who has Nigerian parents? Uh, uh, I, I mean, we, we can keep on going. How about Abaka help find Siakam? Oh, my goodness. Yes, there's some talent out there, baby. And yes, I'm excited for the BAL, the Basketball Africa League. Africa, stand up, baby. Here's McCollum after the made shot from Nikola Vucevic. Portland, no good that time either. Magic leading by 23. Ross with it. He's got seven. And the pass to Vucevic. That one is good again. He's six straight from the floor with the basket. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. And Simons has got the ball here for the Portland Trail Blazers. Hezonia on the wing. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. 
Azania's gone just two of six shooting, 33% to the paint. Here's Vucevic, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Shooting two. Nikola Vucevic. Shooting two. First one falls for Anthony Tolliver. He's checked in for McCollum. And both free throws good for Vucinich. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Plenty of space. That's good on the jump shot. Lasagna's got eight points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Uh, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put in the work. Count that one. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here's Bazemore. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. It's Herzonia in the corner. Six to shoot. <laughs> Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's not who they want guarding him. I mean, the size mismatch is just too big. All he has to do is just keep attacking the rim. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Numbers this year at the line below 70. So when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as you'd like. That's good from Hazania. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Now, here's Fultz. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And six straight playoff appearances for the Blazers under Terry Stotts. Last season making the Western Conference Finals. Yeah, G.A., and he was rewarded with the multi-year contract extension. He's done a great job developing their young players while also having them compete at a high level. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Vucevic. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Whiteside's checked in. And both free throws, good for Vucevic. Uh, that's what they want to see from him, attacking, getting whistles, and, and maybe causing some foul trouble. Defense! 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 We've got 155 left in the third quarter of the game. Simons, the pass to Hazania. Rebound by the Magic. Bomba's got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Vucevic, and Vucevic throws it down. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Here's Simons. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Baysmore against Ross. It's stolen by Aminu. 111 left in the third. Ross against Bazemore. Vucevic gets double team. 
That shot, no good. Good work defensively by Whiteside. Baysmore passes to Simons. Kicks it to Whiteside. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Now Baysmore. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. And for the Trailblazers, they're shooting 31%, not looking sharp offensively, to say the least. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Let's it go with a three. Ross grabs the board. And now Orlando on the break. Fultz with the ball. He's off on that one. Trying to get something going. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. Nikola Vucevic firing on all cylinders for Orlando. Scoring, rebounding. He was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance right now. Back right after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play right there. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the court right now for the Trailblazers. We've got Mario Hizonia, also LeBissier out there, and it's Trent in at the two guard. Passes it to Bamba. Lock at six. Carter Williams, the pass to Isaac. And LeBissier sends it back. Just phenomenal timing on the block. LeBissier leaping up for the forceful rejection. And it's in there. Oh, that's a well-deserved assist. Not every player has the vision to make that feed. And it's Carter Williams with the ball for Orlando. See, Webb, the NBA always trying to improve every aspect of the game. And that includes officiating. Yeah, and it should include officiating. One of the most important parts of the game and one of the toughest jobs within the business of basketball. I mean, these guys are calling, making calls on the fly with, without the advantage of, of the camera at home that we have watching through the screen or without right. the advantage of slow motion technology. So first of all, kudos to the refs that go out and give it their best every day. We have the best refs in any of sports, I believe, and we still need to improve on that. The league recognizes that and I love the fact that everybody's doing it together. Pass to a one do. Just four to shoot. Bomba wide open and he fires. Nails the wide open jump shot. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Simons, the pass to Trent. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Down low, here's Bamba. Good, and it's Frazier who picks up the assist. Bamba's got four points in the quarter. And really, when Bamba has this positioning, you got to get it to him. He's a very reliable scorer from there. Fades away. And it's Simons missing. The Magic have gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. And so it looks like the Magic will retain possession here. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for Orlando. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Anthony's checked in. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Frazier outside, beyond the arc. Here's Bamba, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's gonna go on Scalabissier. 
And, and right now, Bamba is still working on the offensive side, uh, but the intent is there. They're able to draw that foul. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. Well, you, you talk about physical gifts for the game. Mo Bamba, a seven-footer with the longest wingspan, seven, nine and a half, and that gives him a huge spear of influence. Damian Lillard's checked in for and for. Simmons and he's good on the second right you look at Bamba able to touch the rim while still on the ground and <laughs> he gets off the ground pretty well too a good athlete still getting stronger and developing his feel for the game but he has something you just can't teach three on three Gordon for three it's rebounded by LeBissier LeBissier's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And it's Muhammad Bamba with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Anthony, the pass to Trent. To the inside. And the shooting percentage, it's taken a dip in the second half. Lillard misses to the middle. Here's Gordon, and then Gordon with the dunk. When you're open, Carter Williams will find you. He knows his role well. Portland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Anthony right side, and it's blocked by Gordon. Carter Williams feeling it out a bit. Here's a 1-2. Banked in off the glass. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Lillard. Down low, stolen by Gordon. Carter Williams against Lillard. Got a piece of it. Pass to a one-do. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Frazier. Releases. They get it back. Gordon the pass to Bamba. And Labissier sends it back. And now Portland on the break. Here's Azania. Knocks down the three ball. Green logs his first three of the second half. After nailing two in the first, they don't want to let this fella get going. Here's Carter Williams. More star players changing teams. The word tampering comes up, Chris. Is the league striking the right balance on enforcement? Oh, yes. Uh, and, you know, uh, Commissioner Silver, he knows all the tricks. He doesn't want it to be a police state, but he, he knows uh, a wink from a wink. Right, You know yes. what I mean? So you got to draw some lines. But, again, how do you stop it? I mean, you know, if I'm playing on the Lakers and I say, wow, you know, I think uh, – Anthony Davis has the best eyebrows in the world. You know, you got to let me say that. And, and, you know, if that's recruiting, it's recruiting. So it's a fine line. And hopefully uh, the players have some fun with it. And hopefully uh, uh, Commissioner Silver does his best to police it Shots while good. everyone uh, at the same time is working with the tech. Sounds good. And it's not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Anthony Tolliver. He's checked in for the Trailblazers. Michael carter -Lewis. What's up? And that one misses. Now the former rookie of the year continues to improve. Carter Williams, he's a triple-double threat thanks to his size and his passing skills. Here's Trent. Lillard from outside. 
It's rebounded by Carter Williams. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. A nice shot by Frazier. Uh, good anticipation on the feed. Uh, he, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for Portland. And with the younger generation of fans cutting the court, Adam Silver has talked about ways, Chris, to make the games, the NBA games, more accessible. Yeah, and as a guy, Kevin, that played on the West Coast, I know many people aren't happy with this idea, but I say move the games up an hour. Move it to 6 o'clock so that I could watch LeBron on the West Coast when I'm living on the East Coast and be at, and yes. be to bed by a normal time where kids can stay up. But how about the streaming? I mean, you can watch it on your phone. so many better and different ways now. I mean, before, if you were traveling, you could never watch a game because you had to be by a, a TV set stuck into a wall. Now, that's your phone, your pads, and everything else. So I love the game. It's becoming more global because of, of the expansion and how we've gotten players out there in front of fans. And now, uh, with the access that fans have through some type of mobile device, uh, I, I just love it. I love it. Two on the clock. Here's Carter Williams. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Portland's gone a disappointing two of six on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Tolliver the pass to Trent. That's a two from Lillard. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Gordon's got rebound number five here tonight. And here is Carter Williams. The pass to Gordon. Now here's Carter Williams. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for him tonight. Magic shooting only 35% in the fourth quarter. The offense looking a little rickety. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Chris, whether it's KD or Kyrie, we've seen stars grow irritated with constant questions about their free agent destinations. I, I would just suggest to them to go back in time. Nothing's new under the sun. Watch guys like Shaq, like myself, uh, other guys that were free agents. It's a time to talk about it, and, and it's a time not to. And you can even speak about your impending free agency without um, insulting the fans where you're playing and without guessing of maybe where you will go next year. I, I just think that you know, guys just need to be a little more sensitive with it. Fans really want to know, and if the media is going to ask you the question, you got to figure a way how to handle that out uh, delicately. Well said. Simons, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Uh, the raw talent Bamba has, just so impressive. A shot-blocking specialist who also makes an impact on the offensive end. And now, here's Hazonia. Labissiere finds Hazonia. Passes it to Trent. Portland needs to get off a shot. Labissiere, and that one drops for him. Uh, the D doing all they can, but Labissiere is just a master at finishing from there. I mean, even while getting hit. Carter Williams with it. Pass to Bamba. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Magic. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage, but this was a great team effort by everyone. And so checking out their record tonight, that'll mark win number 32 overall. And you know, this is a win they wanted badly, guys. They did not want to get swept in the season series. And while there was some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a solid outing for Vucevic. No fatigue in this fella tonight. Tireless, grinding out every possession and leading their offense. And Portland has possession after the Magic pick up two. Here's Tolliver. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. 
shooting for Portland. Anthony Tolliver at the line for two. That free throw good from Tolliver. And the Magic making a change here. Vucevic has checked in. Tolliver hits them both. And it's Carter Williams with the ball for the Orlando Magic. Frazier outside. Here's Vucevic. And it's Portland with the rebound. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks a lot. Nick, how did you guys get this win tonight? We were really good on defense, and then our, once we get stops, we're very good on offense. We got some easy ones, and we just kept grinding, you know. We never let it back in the game, and uh, it felt good to get this one tonight. Great performance by you guys, Nick. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.